Hello everyone, it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you. Thank you so much for all being here. Uh, I can see you've all been commenting already, which is awesome. <laughs> you can see my little face. I'm, I'm checking out to see if we're all live and we are. I didn't realise it did the whole first bit as well. <laughs> so I can see my face. I'm like, is this working? Am I live? <laughs> So yes, we are live, Diana. Good to see you. I hope you, everyone is well and everyone is good. <laughs> Excuse me, it's two minutes, Rachel Burkett. Give me a break. <laughs> She's late. She's late. <laughs> yes, I'm live. And it takes a little while for um, Switcher Studio to connect and yeah, do all, the, do all its things. Good to see you all. Hello. Hello. So it has been another busy week as always in the Batucci household. Um, we have lots of exciting things ahead. Celebration is literally around the corner now. 3rd of January that's going to be starting. So uh, 31 days in December. So that means four days left of December. And then three days until celebration, once it's the end of December. So that's really exciting. Uh, so that means it's like one week till celebration. Yay! So exciting. There's so many amazing free goodies to collect. And I know you're going to want to collect them all because that's what we do. We're collectors, aren't we? We love getting everything. I know I do. I'm like... Yes, I want one of everything. And then I go back and I'm like, in fact, I'll get another one of everything. <laughs> so very, very exciting. So I thought to sort of start celebrating and to start thinking about celebration and to enjoy some of the samples, I thought I would do up a little sampler pack, a little card kit uh, for anyone who places an order with me before the end of December. Now, I only have a limited supply of these card kits, so you'll have to jump in fast if you want to get them. I'll show you what's in the kit. So you have six card bases, and you also have six uh, Love It Chop It card fronts. So I'm just going to lay it out here for you. So it looks all pretty and neat and tidy, and then you can see everything. There we go check that out so you'll receive all of that in the mail and basically uh oops there goes one of the papers there it is uh basically you'll be able to make i didn't add any sentiments because i wanted you to use your imagination but you'll be able to make these cards here that was the idea that i had uh for each color and how awesome that one pack of paper you're able to get so many awesome colors and use so many different card bases. So that's just six card fronts, paper card fronts, and it's made these awesome cards. I'm glad you like that, Anne-Marie. Hi, Karen. Hey, Patricia. <laughs> you so cute. So yes, very, very exciting that I have this. Now, I also thought, you know what? I wanna do something a little bit extra. So I did a few extra things because, you know, I want to entice my beautiful customers to think about ordering in December, uh, especially with the clearance rack happening right now. There are so many good bargains on the clearance rack and I don't want you to miss out. Uh, and there's also the year end close out too. So don't forget that not only does celebration start on the 3rd of January, but the holiday catalog finishes. Capiche, finish, done. So if there's things from the holiday catalogue that you're thinking, oh my goodness, I better get that, um, then definitely head over to our store. The link is below. Head over and you can see uh, what is in the year-end closeout as well. So there's the clearance rack, the year-end closeout. Uh, so there's some really, really great bargains. One of my favourite bargains, in fact, in the clearance rack is the incredible um, Everything is Rosy product medley. And I think most people don't realize, they see the price and think, oh boy, that's, you know, 
that's a lot of money for something um, that I don't know much about. But what is really amazing about the Everything is Rosy product medley, I'm just going to show you here actually, uh, because a lot of people didn't realize just how much is in, included in that uh, medley. It's not even a bundle. It's more than a bundle. It's like a crazy bundle. So I'm just going to show you uh, my screen so I can explain it to you. We want that one and we want that one. Good. Voila. Okay, so this is what I was talking about here. You've got the year-end closeout. You've also got holiday favorites. So they're ones that have carried over. You've got the clearance rack. So there's a lot of exciting little areas here. Achoo! Excuse me. Achoo! Got a bit of dust up my nose. <laughs> so clearance rack, if we go over to clearance rack, excuse me. <laughs> This one here I was pretty impressed with from $24 down to $9.70. It's like, what? What a bargain. Get me a bargain. But there was this one here as well. Uh, the Memories and More card pack for only $7. That's a super bargain as well. And you might be seeing some of these thinlets too that are super, super cheap and amazing. Um, there was another one here. Oh, yes, this project kit. I thought that's crazy ridiculous. It's less than half price. And another specialty laser cut paper. Like crazy price. And even this punch pack. Like it comes with a stamp set. The watercolour pencils, a punch, and this beautiful tin, less than half price. This one over here is an absolute bargain. The delightfully detailed note cards and envelopes, down to $6.60. And you've got some more framelits, some punches. But this one here is the one I want to highlight. This, I absolutely loved that. Oh my goodness, I use that so much, that one. So if we jump on this Everything is Rosy product mainly, so the price was $139 and is now $76, which is absolutely crazy. Now, just to celebrate Everything is Rosy, I am going to be giving away our $20 Everything is Rosy tutorial to anyone that places any order of any size until the end of December. So that's a $20 tutorial that Bruno and I created and it has over 20 projects. And you could use it for even more than just the Everything is Rosy. Obviously the card designs and things like that, you'll be able to use for a lot of different things. Um, but included in this product medley that you may not realize is all of that paper. So we've got a stamp set. So I'll show you the stamp set. That's the stamp set that comes with it. Like how adorable is that? Really great sentiments. It's sort of that textured, um, what is it called? Um, trying to think of the name. Distinctive. It's like the distinctive stamping. So it's sort of shaded and it just comes up so beautifully. Uh, one of my favorite um, things in this kit is also the fact that it comes with dies. So you can cut that all out. There's the gorgeous paper. Let's have a look at some of the um, papers and things here. Now, this has the most amazing rose gold through the paper. It's like shimmery and stunning. You also get this foil, the rose gold foil. You get two beautiful um, ribbons. And this ribbon here, this Knight of Navy ribbon, has a rose gold trim. You get the incredible rose gold uh, shimmer paint, which is so awesome. I had so much fun and our tutorial explains just how much you can actually do with our shimmer paint. We have other shimmer paint available right now, but the shimmer paint you can even put on the stamps and stamp with it. Um, I embossed um, with some our embossing folders and then I got my sponge dauber and used it over the top of the embossing and it just 
popped. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, and these are rose gold mirror uh, embellishments. They have a little film over the top of it just to protect because it's actually a mirror. So you can just peel off the film and it's like a shiny, blinging amazingness. And then you also have these incredible little um, die cuts that you just push out. You don't have to cut them. They're already pre-cut for you. Um, these background ones have an incredible rose gold shimmer to them and you can stamp the sentiment on there. So it's a, a, an incredible, incredible medley of products that includes way more than just paper. It has a stamp set, it has dyes, it has shimmer paint. Like it's just an incredible, incredible set. I've got this here. I used my, um, see the little gold, uh, rose gold uh, mirror embellishments there. And actually you can use um, with your rose gold foil, we use the dyes to cut out these beautiful little leaves here. And this is the gorgeous paper with the rose gold accent in it. Um, this amazing sentiment and of course the beautiful ribbon there as well. And it's all highlighted in the beautiful little pizza box that we can get from Stamping Up. And of course you could do a card that is perfectly designed with this, with a little gift inside for someone. Or you could even do little note cards inside and put that with little thank you cards in, on the inside. So absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful medley and I don't want you to miss out on it. Uh, but regardless of what order you place, you will be getting our Everything is Rosie tutorial bundle. If you don't live in Australia and you would like to get the Everything is Rosie tutorial bundle from Bruno and I, uh, we can do that for you. In fact, we'll do a little special today for those of you that are watching. <gasps> those of you that watch the replay and see this, then you'll um, you'll get a 50% off our tutorial bundle. <gasps> How does that sound? I like the sound of that, Kylie. Thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> so I have a, um, a discount voucher set up. And I'll give you the link as well, so that if you want to go over and get that tutorial, you can. Uh, where are we here? I'll get the little link for you. So the, there it is there. Yeah, so you're absolutely going to love this tutorial bundle because it was made with lots of love. In fact, Bruno made quite a number of 3D type projects as well, which was really cool. And um, yeah, you can use it for, for anything. You don't have to just use it for this, which is awesome. So we've got our discount codes and I've got, there it is. So the code you're going to use is called Rosie Half. Okay. So I'll give you the link as well. But if, if you get to, you have to make sure you log in to our store and, um, oops, Rosie Half, yes, that's right. And then I'll make sure that I get, yes, a shareable link for you, copy link, there it is, good. And I'll pop that up on the page and here in the link as well. So you can either click on that direct link or you can just add in the little code. So, yay, I'm happy, Ginny, you'll love it. It's a really, really great tutorial. And remember, you can use it for all sorts of different things as well. I'll just quickly show you here some of the highlights. So, you can see here from our image, um, you know, absolutely beautiful, beautiful paper. This is one of Bruno's 3D projects here. Um, I've got lots of these beautiful designs and you can use that same design with any of the paper. And the best thing is, is you can use any of the sentiments as well. So you don't have to do uh, the sentiment that we've used. Um, and you can see here, this is just a snippet of the projects that we made. 
um, over 70 pages the tutorial is so and you'll get both metric and imperial so it doesn't matter where you are in the world it will work for you so and remember for our US peeps that it's Australian dollars so you get even a bigger discount <laughs> you pay you pay 30% less probably <laughs> I think it's about we're about 30 30 70 cents on your dollar something like that uh, so yeah very excited about that and just a couple of other things uh, where are we here I want to go to your oh yes there we go so just to see uh, what else is in this beautiful clearance rack those detailed dragon fly thinlets I absolutely adored them I use them constantly um, this amazing share what you love embellishment kit now $7.70 that's like way so ridiculously cheap less than half price this one I thought was a really good one that you may not realize it's the silver embossing paste uh, again pretty much less than half price so check that out um, more embellishments and sweet tags that'd be a cute little gift for someone who knows crafty without having to break the bank some amazing paper the team room specialty paper you get a lot of paper in that pack only $9.70 for that um, some more embellishments here these beautiful up and away some ribbon and there you have it I loved that oh my goodness I use that all the time the wonderfully for the wonderful floral framelits so yeah exciting times there's lots of cool stuff to go check out so I hope you get the most of that and to top it off not only am I giving this the everything is rosy tutorial bundle but I've also got this but what there's more so what have I made here this is the new punch pack because I thought it would be good for you to get a sample of all the new punches in the brand new catalog the mini catalog coming up so inside we have and what I like about having these punches like this it means that you can keep them or you can use them it's totally up to you but it's a great way to sort of see what you would like on your card so today I sort of looked at my card and I'm like do I want to use this um, what would I like to use and I can just pull it out and the same as the card templates um, you can just use it on your project and have a look and see if it if it suits what you're wanting to do so this one here these are beautiful these ones uh, this is the label me fancy punch and that comes with the label me lovely which is that one there so those two are absolutely gorgeous and they come together I'm pretty sure you buy them as a pack but they are absolutely gorgeous and this one you can actually put a little um, slot or a um, little hole and it's in the actual punch itself uh, then you've got the heart punch there's two of those that layer and until you see this in the flesh you don't realize the potential of these punches and I just love how quick and easy punches are they're great for beginners if you're new to stamping it's a really great way not have, having to pull out your dime cutting machine just bang I love it if I want to make a quick card it's just perfect then there's the braided border punch so it just gives you a little sample um, but you can of course make it a lot longer it's just a, a little sample of what it looks like then you have the tulip little tulip and I've cut it out so that you've got a beautiful little green leaf there and then you can use the stamp for the stem or even draw it yourself totally up to you and then the cute little umbrella umbrella builder punch so that's that one there and it's got its little umbrella I did all different colors so that you have a, a mix of colors and they all coordinate with the uh, card kit that I made Oh, thanks, Norma. Norma just got a tutorial. Thank you, Norma. Just saw it pop up on the screen. <laughs> so that coordinates with that. So if you did want to use the punches for a sentiment, you could. You can totally do that. Or you can use it for inspiration later. But uh, there's also the two sides to the paper. So the paper will, go, will work out either way. Oh, thank you, Virginia. I just got your tutorial payment. 
girls are awesome. Thank you for all your support. It keeps us creating more ideas. I actually have an idea for another tutorial that's coming up in the new um, mini catalog. I'm very excited because there's another medley in there. Yee! <laughs> How beautiful is that one? I absolutely love that one. I think it's so gorgeous. It just reminds me of like an oil painting. So either side, side gorgeous. You're going to enjoy that. And that's celebration paper. So if you decide you really love this paper and it's just absolutely beautiful, you'll be able to earn it for free with every $90 purchase in January, which is very exciting. You can get a whole full pack and have 72 of these card fronts. 72 cards. You can get it for free. Thank you very much, Stampin' Up! So lots and lots happening. Lots of reasons to place an order before the end of December. Um, the December tutorial, the Everything is Rosie tutorial, the punch pack, the card kit that comes with the base and the paper, and you also get loyalty vouchers from us as well. Oh, and a handmade card. What more do you want? So yes, lots of very, very good reasons to place an order before the end of December. Now, uh, I think that was mainly the points I wanted to bring out today. I've been very busy organising a new training program for all our beautiful demonstrators out there. Uh, I've just completed a section of MailChimp. Very excited about that. So I've still got a little bit more to go in MailChimp, but it's going to be such an amazing training program. It's all about online and how to use the tools to make an online business. So it's been really great. Um, if you do join our team, you get that for free because it's we want to train you properly. We want you to have all the tools you can possibly have to make stamping up a business. Um, and even if you don't want to make stamping up a business, it's just really handy to learn these things. It's really handy to learn how to create a Facebook page, how to um, make your settings secure and private so that you don't get people scamming you and um, it's just really good information to learn and no matter what we love crafting all of us love to craft um, a lot of us love Pinterest and we're addicted to Pinterest so I'm going to be doing a lot of training about Pinterest how um, you can use that to your advantage to either get inspiration or to share what you are creating with others. And I think there's something very, very special, even if you aren't running this as a business or even wanting to, there is something very special about being able to share your uh, designs with the world and being able to inspire other people to create. It's a really satisfying, um, it just builds your confidence. It makes you feel really good inside. When you when you get a comment from someone going, oh my goodness, I love your card. That is so beautiful. Thanks for your inspiration. Thank you for sharing. Uh, that's priceless. So to be able to learn how to blog, even if you're not doing it from a business point of view, to learn how to blog, um, to learn how to share that on Pinterest, and to really um, tap into the online world of crafting it's really exciting because there's just so much support out there. There's an incredible community of stampers. You get to know Stampin' Up! demonstrators from around the world that you can follow and support and um, you get to know them really well. So it's, it's a very special thing, not just for people who want to run a business, but for all of us. All of us want to learn and keep learning. So it's very, very exciting that we are getting that training organized. And Marie has asked a very good question. Is it too late to register? So uh, we have a training program. We have two different training programs. One is a support program and one of them is what I'm creating at the moment, which is an online um, like support as well. So it's like an online um, training. So they're two different things. One support and one is actually online. Now, if you really, really want to join the support program, you still can. I will allow that. Uh, just message me and we will get you in. Now, the only reason why I'm okay with doing that, because you have missed, you know, a couple of months. But the only reason why I'm okay with doing that is because you get the social media training for free. 
So it works out in your best interest <laughs> because that social media training is going to be $350 when I finish with it. So to be able to get that for free as I'm building it this year is really amazing. So if you really want to kick, like if you're thinking I'm, I'm kicking myself, I didn't join, then you're more than welcome to join. Um, I'll just put the link up here uh, so that you can have a look at the information. And if you have any questions at all about that training, just please ask uh, because it's pretty special and it's all, it's really happening. We've got some amazing speakers coming up. Patty Bennett is speaking next month. The Patty Bennett. <laughs> so it's very, very exciting to be part of that. Yes. Hello, Karen. And Nancy says a very good point. I get so excited when one of my cards is saved on Pinterest. It makes me giddy. And I totally agree. It is so, it's like, a little bit addictive, isn't it? It's like, oh my goodness, someone liked my card. <laughs> so <laughs> it's um, it's really good. Oh, Bruno beat me, did he? <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> so yes, it's very, very exciting. Bruno and Kylie's name. No, I actually did that. I'm on the ball today, Jenny. <laughs> Normally it is Bruno doing it from the other room, but it's me today. <laughs> so yes, you can you can join up. Um, and yes, Megan, you can only get that deal in December with all the goodies, with with the punch pack and the card kit, and the two tutorials. Yes, December. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rachel. It is really really good. Um, one thing. Oh, Patty's beautiful. One thing that people are learning is. Um, it's not overly structured and um, if you are just starting out with stamping up it can be very very overwhelming I will warn you um, because there's nothing that says okay if you're new do this if you're medium do this if you're advanced do this it's basically advanced training it's talking to you as though you have a team of 200 people and you are running this as a hardcore business and at first, it can be a bit confronting because it's like you have to put your big girl panties on and suck it up and go, oh my goodness, this is intense. There's so much to this that I didn't realize. There's so much back of house information that you just, you probably didn't even consider was a thing. Uh, but the best thing about that, thank you, Kylie Jackson. <laughs> I just got your, got your notification. <laughs> Um, the one thing that you realize is just how much goes into running a business. So it's it's really exciting. There were some girls that did it for a year and they found that they were like really overwhelmed for a lot of the time and they were like, oh my goodness, I feel so behind. Uh, but they just found their rhythm and they realized, you know, this takes time. Nothing's going to happen overnight and just apply what you can. So you just take a snippet from each video or maybe one particular video really hits home to you so you might you know watch that same video over and over but you'll have unlimited access to those videos so you can just you know breathe chill and really enjoy what you learn from these demonstrators that have proven to be successful they've earned trips they've done incredible things with stamping up and a lot of them really thought that um it was just going to be a hobby for them. I know I joined as a hobby for the discount and, you know, a lot of us fell into it. And then all of a sudden we're like having to learn all these things, looking after a team, looking after customers, learning marketing, how to use online tools. And it's overwhelming. If you don't know where to start or how to begin, it's really, really overwhelming. So I'm hoping that this can help uh, particularly new ones starting out that have no idea or ones that are losing, you know, confidence and just think, you know what, how am I ever going to make a go of this? I don't think I've tried, I've tried my absolute best, but what you're trying may not be what um, is going to actually help your business. And that's the hardest thing is, am I doing the right thing for my business? Am I in the right direction? And when someone says, yes, yes, you are in the right direction, just keep going. You're like, Okay, I can just keep going. I'm just going to keep keep being strong. <laughs> yes. 
Um, Rick, it's a great training program and you learn a lot no matter what level you are. That's And that's what I like about it. It's, it's good for everyone, um, but just probably a little overwhelming if you're new. I will warn you. It comes with a warning. Asterix. You will be treated as though you are a business person. Woo! <laughs> that's pretending that I'm not a business person. Don't treat me like a businesswoman. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so yes, it's it's good. It makes you step up. <laughs> so hello everyone. <laughs> yes. Oh, good on you, Tina. There's a lot of people that joined. For, I think majority of Stampin' Up! demonstrators joined for the hobby. <laughs> but it's exciting to think that you can do something with it. So let's jump on in and do some crafting together. Enough of Kylie chitter chatter. <laughs> you want to see some card making, right? So let's just bring over our little light here. Uh, yes, yes. Can we zoom in here? Yes, we can. Excellent. And I'll put my little face in here somewhere. That looks good. So what I might do actually is, no, I don't want that one. I want, vertical, no, horizontal, that's the one. Hopefully this one. Oh, it sort of chops me off a little bit. I'll come this side. I think that's better. It's so bizarre with this camera. Anyway, that should work. Good. Okay. So, beautiful new products. Beautiful, beautiful new catalogue. Oh, my goodness. Stamping up. I don't know how they keep doing it. Seriously, they just keep doing amazing things constantly. Oh, thank you, Dora. Yes. Hashtag love it, chop it. We're doing love it, chop it today. <laughs> yes, it's called the Demonstrator Training Program, Ginny. That's the one. <laughs> um, oh, that's very interesting, Marty. I'm watching from Southern California. I was a consultant for 25 years with a different company, but quit. And now I'm only using Stampin' Up! and love it. Oh, Marty, just do it already. You know what I love about Stamping Up! and joining is, um, and I've said this a number of times, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but uh, with a business, say with my father's restaurant business, he had to pay $200,000 probably for his restaurant. And then, you know, there's cost involved. You know, you've got to get all the food and pay all the wages and have all the staff and organize everything that goes with that, superannuation, work cover, all, you know, super, super complicated very complicated and very difficult to make that $200,000 back. You're probably working for free for the, you know, first three, four years of your restaurant business. And people don't think about that. They don't stop and think about what it's like to start your own business. With Stamping Up to start your own business, you pay in Australia $169 and then you get given $235 worth of product. So they say, okay, you can start a business, but we'll give you $66 of product for free. So there's no risk. There is no outlay. You don't have to buy any stock. Stampin' Up! ship it all for you. Um, so even if you just love the products, you're getting $66 of product for free. <laughs> so it's like... It's a no-brainer because even if you don't do anything with it, even if you don't run it as a business, hello, you're getting $66 of product for free. <laughs> so it's just really, yeah, there's nothing to think about, Marty. You just do it because you're getting free product. And then whatever happens after that, win-win. No, you haven't lost a thing. You're not going to lose money. You're not going to lose a house. You don't have to mortgage anything. There's no complications. The best. It just means, I think the biggest thing, if you want to make it a business, is that you need to put time into it. But my dad still had to put time in it. He had to invest and put time in it. Uh, but sometimes what happens is when you invest $200,000 into a restaurant, 
you work hard. You work really hard because you have to make it work. You have no choice. With something like Stampin' Up, you, ha you don't have to work hard. You haven't, you haven't outlaid anything. There's no risk. You don't have to do a thing. But if you do work hard, you will see results. That's the key. <laughs> yes, you get a lot during celebration if you join. Yeah. So it's, it's very exciting. Yes. Now, um, good. Yeah, if anyone has any questions, I am available. So please ask. Yes, the new baby trimmer. I'm showing the new baby trimmer today. Oh, it's so cute. I love I love that name, baby trimmer. <laughs> Sadly, Robert, I can only have ones from Australia join. It would be lovely to have people from the US join us, but Australia only. Australian peeps are the ones. But there are plenty of amazing demonstrators in the US. And if you need a list of incredible demonstrators... I am happy to give you a list of amazing people that I've worked with that I know will take amazing care of you and support you in any goals you have. So dad is doing very well. Thank you, Pamela. He's doing excellent. I just rang him this week and he's very, very good. So we're going to do some love it, chop it. So I have my mint macaron and we're going to use this beautiful best dressed uh, designer series paper and this was actually one of the packs uh, one of the pieces of paper that came with the mini trimmer it's like a, a pack of paper and the trimmer so you get all of this paper I've got all this incredible paper here paper everywhere so it's the six by six paper I've already done some love it chop it to some of them and you get the trimmer and that's all for free if you join after the um, 3rd of January. So you get this and the little baby trimmer. So it's really good value because it's free. <laughs> I love free. Free is the best value of all. <laughs> so we're going to fold this in half. Now you'll see why I'm doing like this. So I'm showing you how to use your baby trimmer. You will need a bone folder because this is quite a large piece of cardstock so it just gives it a really crisp finish and then we're going to come over to our baby trimmer and if you have my card templates you're going to cut it at your poppy parade size oh no gorgeous grape I should say now you can hold this little guard down so that it keeps it nice and tight and in place so it doesn't wriggle anywhere and then we're going to come in with our designer series paper now, just check the back, because if you want to use this for portrait, then I want to make sure it's the correct way. So, I'm doing my poppy parade size now. Now, obviously, this is not long enough for me to be able to cut. So, this is where the card templates come in. Amazing. If you don't have my card templates, the link is below. And so, I just use my card template as a guide. So I'm going to line that up with my card template and then I'll be able to chop the edge. And that's how you can use your little mini trimmer for card making. Oh, it's a little bit crooked. There we go. That's a bit better. I might end up cutting a bit of the... Oh, I did a tiny bit of the... <laughs> that's all right. We can deal with that. I can chop another one later. <laughs> So there we go. That's our card front. So nice and simple. Simple dimples. And what I'm going to do, just for something a little bit different, I think I'm going to use, um, I'm going to cut this down. So let's do a little bit of chopping. I'm just going to estimate. Now, this is another direction that you can go in um, for your little mini trimmer. So I'm just going to cut it. Just literally eyeballing. I am not measuring this in any way. What I'm going to do is just do one side like this and then the other side like this and then we're going to layer our sentiment. So you, you may have seen my card this morning. I'm basing it loosely on that. So this was our... Oh, I have to realise that I'm using this side. Sorry, everyone. I've got my big buff head in the way. Um, 
so this was our international highlights blog hop this morning um, every month I have a international blog highlights where uh, I feature demonstrators from all around the world we make a gallery together uh, before it goes live the gallery is already all set up and ready to go so that the minute I go live then there's this big group of cards usually at least 20 people participate anyone can participate everyone is welcome to take part in that there's a link on my blog um, kyliebatucci.com you can go over there see the link and come and join in uh, because January we have the theme of thank you and so you just create a card and I have a tutorial a video tutorial on how to take part super easy and fun so um, I've used this beautiful card for our hop today. The winners, the top 10, were voted by everyone that came into our blogs and the top 10 got to hop together. So that was a lot of fun this morning. So please go and check out that blog hop. You're going to get a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of the new products that have been highlighted in that blog, which is exciting. So um, yeah, I've used the brand new Best Dressed Paper again. And these uh, finlets are our Stitched So Sweetly dies, And they layer so beautifully, the rectangle with this label as well. So I've got the label in the background. Um, or you could just use the label on its own. But it's just such a beautiful, simple, easy card. The stamp comes from the Best Dressed uh, stamp set, which we're going to use today as well. Dressed to Impress, I should say. So I've used the flowers and the sentiment. Kindness is always in style. Totally always in style. It's always fashionable. <laughs> um, what did Rick say? Yes, not usually with host sets. Ah, oh, yes, that's true. Good. So beautiful, beautiful stamp set. I love this one. It's so um, fun and, yeah, lots and lots of exciting stamps in that one. So what we'll do, because I've chopped this down, I always find that to line it up and to make sure that it's it's sticking, you could you can either just go straight onto here, which would work fine. But it's a little bit, you know, you sort of, oh, am I putting it in the right place? So what I find is easier is actually sticking it down. I cut a piece, um, well, that one's a little bit too small, that one. Did I chop it too big? Ah! No, that's all right. Good. Yes. So we're going to glue that down with, I like to use um, the Tombow glue, the multi-purpose, because then I have a little bit of wiggle room. So I can stick that up the top there. And so this is the Poppy Parade size, this card layer, if you're wondering what this card layer is. I'm just going to move that over because I've noticed it's a little bit too big. I'll come in with my little mini trimmer and just chop that down a little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, so good for those little tiny pieces. Someone said it's really good for sentiments too, like the little bits and pieces. And then we're going to stick that down here. And I'll have to chop that one too, actually. I mustn't have measured properly. Good. And this just creates a little bit of interest and just, yeah, changes things up a little bit, which is good. What is going on here? I'm just, you know, highlighting the little mini trimmer a little bit more <laughs> with my bad cutting. <laughs> yes. Ah, so cute. This little baby trimmer is totes adorbs. Ah, yes. Fun. Okay, now. What are we going to do next? I'll move that out of the way and then I'll move that out of the way so that we've got plenty of space. 
So the next thing that I want to do is think about the sentiment and to think about what I'm going to place it on. And also I know that a lot of people say that they find it difficult to use their ribbon. So I'm bringing in some ribbon. Look at this gorgeous ribbon. I thought this just goes perfectly with that handbag. Uh, and this is brand new ribbon um, called, it just says metallic edge ribbon, but it's found in the new mini in the Parisian suite. So petal pink quarter inch metallic edge ribbon. So it's on page 15 and even though it's not from the same suite, I think it's just so pretty and it just goes so well. Now what I like to do with ribbon is use our amazing tear and tape because it just keeps it all in place on the back. So I just sort of roughly estimate where I'm going to be sticking it and that I put a couple of strips of the tear and tape. So just a little bit here, you can even do less because it's so hardcore this stuff. And over here, that looks about right, yes. And you just peel that off on both sides. If you find it difficult taking off the backing for tear and tape, you can always come in with your little snips just to lift it up. See, I've got nails, so it's fine. But if you use your little snips, if you find it really annoying, that is a little tip for you. Now I like to line it up. And once you've done that, you can just come around on that side and come around on that side. And guess what, peeps? We are stuck. Ah! That's how easy it is. Isn't that cool? So the only thing that I find um, that you have to be careful of with the, with the tape, and what even might be a good idea to do, is just add a little strip over the top of that. Like if you've got a scrap piece or something like that of Whisper White, um, you can just hack into it and add a little strip. Just to, oh, that flew away. That went right under the desk. <laughs> it's like, I'm out of here. I ain't covering your tape. <laughs> so cut that in half. And the reason why I do that, I'll show you in a moment, but it's basically when I'm sticking down, I still want to have that wiggle room that I get when I um, when I use the glue. Um, but when I have tape there, I go, oh, where's my wiggle room? And then it's like, <laughs> it's stuck down. <laughs> so that just covers it so that I can still have my wiggle room if I want to. <laughs> Yes, and a very good point there. Trimmer or take a take your pick tool does the same thing. The pointy end. The pointy end of the take your pick tool. Thank you for mentioning that. Who was that? Tina? No. <laughs> Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Yes. So looking very pretty. So I think we can stick that down to our mint macaron card base now so that we can get some ideas. I thought the mint macaron would be really nice because it's sort of highlighting this beautiful piece down here. And you could raise that on dimensionals if you wanted to, but I'm gonna keep it flat and then highlight my sentiment. I'll put that on dimensionals because we love using dimensionals. And voila looking very good now sentiment i grabbed my little punch pack and i went through um what i thought would be good good on here um and the one thing that i noticed was i like this punch but i felt like it was just a little bit too big i mean it works it totally works uh, but I would have had to use probably the sentiment, um, where is it here? Here it goes. Uh, you're as bold, be as bold as your lipstick. And I thought, oh, it doesn't necessarily go with the bag. So I thought I either want to use Hello Fabulous or Kindness is Always in Style. 
and those two there are a little bit small like they're not going to take up the whole space properly um, and I like to fill it yeah it looked like it had too much space around it and I probably would need to go sideways um, I mean it look it still looks great totally up to you but that's the sentiment there um, so see how it just it sort of has a bit of space so if you wanted to you could probably come in and use some of the flowers which is what I did on on this one it had a little bit more space there like it looked a bit bare when it was just the sentiment so I added the flowers to sort of fill in that that space um, so yeah I decided that I would go for <gasps> The pretty little heart. I thought, yes, that fits just right with this. Hello, fabulous. Not these colors. This is my punch pack. I decided to go. So see how it helps you to sort of gauge the sizing and work out your sentiments. So I decided to go with the mint macaron again. And then I'm going to use whisper white. And I'm going to stamp that. Uh, this one here. Stamp that in the Blackberry Bliss. And we'll punch that out with the brand new heart. They are so beautiful, these hearts. They layer so well too. So I'll do it this side so that we can get our punch in nice and easily. I just re-inked my Blackberry Bliss and I re-inked it too much. <laughs> I had to like stamp it off again. I was like, whoa, this is a bit too inky. So there's our punch. Hopefully I've given it enough room. I haven't. I hate it when I do that. It's good to line it up and make sure before you stamp uh, this one and this one. So let's test this out. that's better and only just there we go so you can just sort of grab like push down but not punch just to straighten it up a little bit and then boom so I find, yeah, stamping is good, but, you know, with polymer, the best thing is, is that you can see through. So if you wanted to punch first, then stamp. That's the beauty of polymer. That's what I love about it. Thank you for your tutorial order, Karen. Thank you. You girls are amazing. Thank you so much. Yep, someone said punch first. You can totally do that. But if you have a rubber stamp, it can be a little bit tricky. So... Um, but because it's um, polymer, totally you can punch first. So we'll stick that down and then we'll put it on dimensionals. Oh, that is so pretty. Gorgeousness. Hello, fabulous. And then we're going to pop that on there like so. Now we could go in the middle. We could go on the side. I think I'm vibing side. Yes. Oh, that's very cute too. Let's have a look. I'll look on the screen. Yeah, I think I'm vibing side. But, you know, you can mix it up and you can put it in the middle if you want. I never tend to go on the left though. I always go on the right or in the middle. So we'll use our stamp and dimensionals. I keep them in my clear mount case so that they're always on hand. Yeah, I love it. Chop it. Now, if you haven't joined my Love It Chop It workshop, please join because you will get lots of designer series paper ideas from us uh, because the designer series paper is just the best for making quick, affordable, amazing cards. As you can see with this one today, um, you don't necessarily just have to use the one sheet uh, 
on the front and not do anything with it. Look at how simple this is. We've just cut a little bit of it, flipped it over. So for those of you that have panic attacks about which side do I choose? It is a thing. It really is a thing. I don't know which side, I can't decide. This is the perfect solution for all of you out there that cannot decide on a side. <laughs> You've been kind to both sides. <laughs> and usually Stamping Up has got it designed so that the front does match the uh, back. So, it, you know, thank you Stampin' Up, you make us look amazing. Uh, so super simple, super easy, and we're just gonna do a little inside piece as well because you know we've got to decorate the inside of course no loony runs no naked cards here please it's a bit rude so we can go like this and this we want to grab our poppy parade now i just want to do a strip of this here make sure I've got a little handbag in there so we know what's happening but it matches the front so you'll know what's going on sorry I'll bring you over here and yes sorry if I'm missing comments once I start crafting I'm like la la <laughs> I'm sure Bruno's watching he can help you if he needs to <laughs> And then again, you can just use your little guide here to work out where to cut the, the next section. Maybe just push up against so that you're not chopping your cardstock like I did before. And there we go. Super simple and easy. Oh, baby trimmer, you're so cute. Remember, you can only get that right now if you're a demonstrator. You can pre-order it right now. Or if you join in January. But if you don't pre-order it as a demonstrator, you will not get it after December. That's it. It's gone. So if you want this baby trimmer and you're a demonstrator, you have to get it now. Stat. Don't be crying afterwards like, ah! I'm sure Stampin' Up's going to get lots of phone calls. But I wanted the trimmer. Little oh, baby cutter. Well, you can't get it anymore. Sorry. Soz lol. Ta -da! Oh, hello, fabulous. <laughs> hello, Joanne. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm so glad you like. See how simple and easy that was. Now, if you want to dress it up a little bit, you could add a little bit of bling. You can add some um, of the beautiful champagne rhinestones. Um, we've got a lot of amazing embellishments in this new catalogue that you could add. Um, the Best Dressed has some little buttons if you wanted to add that. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I think, I'm thinking it's pretty happy. Uh, I might show you a couple of the... What have we got here? I think I've got a couple of the faceted gems. Oh yeah, that's, we don't want pineapples. So I don't think that will go with it. Although that little flower is pretty cute. Look at that. Let's open this up and have a look. We might find something. Look at that. Ah, that's actually cute. How adorable are those little embellishments? What else have we got? I think I've got... This one here. So these ones come from the From My Heart Faceted Gems. They're on page nine. These ones are a little bit dark, so they're not going to match. It'd be nice if we had something... Pink. Ooh, blingy bling. Maybe some of the little ones can fill it in. Yeah, something like that. If you wanted to add add something to it. I 
sink a little one down the bottom. What size? I've got it like a medium one here too, I think. Oh no, big and small. Oh no, here's a medium one. It's a little bit bigger than the little, little one. Ooh, that one's cute. Yeah, something like that. Let's add that in. So you could probably use, for something like this, um, your fine tip glue pen would probably be the best thing to do, especially for these really little ones. Um, and what I would genu um, ge generally, I was like, what am I saying? Genuinely, <laughs> generally, let's use a bit of fine tip glue pen. Make sure that when you use your fine tip glue pen that you put that wire back in. It's hard for some of us that are starting to lose their eyesight. You can just squeeze off on the side here, make sure that it's all happy. Actually, I don't know if this is a new one. It's probably got a lid. <gasps> it does. I just, because um, I clogged all of mine up, so I had to get some new ones. So little one there. Little one there. And then you can come in with some tweezers. Whoops. So I'll probably put it too close together. I should put it over this side, I think. Oh, wrong way around. There's a lot of um, glue on here. That fine tip glue spreads very quickly. So FYI. Oh, that's so cute. And another one there. I feel like I'm doing an operation. Operation Rhinestone. Faceted gem. Complete. Complete and I'm happy. I'm very happy with that little cute addition. How cute is that? <laughs> oh, see you, Jackie. Safe travels. Drive careful. And if you need to sleep, stop. Stop and sleep. Look at me. I'm like, oh my goodness, how do I put this back in? Yes! That's like a an achievement. It's like sewing a needle through a thread. <laughs> a thread through a needle. So there we go. That's our beautiful little card for today. And definitely check out the blog hop that I did today um, because that will give you some more inspiration there. So very simple. That's if I did one layer. But um, I like the fact that you can sort of step it up a little bit and add this second layer at the bottom and just flip it around. And that particularly is good for those who can't decide on which paper to use. This is for you, for all you peeps out there that are like, I can't, I can't glue that side down because I love both sides. I think for the first Frost Designer Series paper, that is a definitely a great card to make for that one because I, I can't even decide with that paper. It's just so stunning, both sides. So well, let's just flip you to the front. Why, hello there. And we'll do our little photo together. Very exciting. Thanks for being here to create this card together. It's been a lot of fun. The hour has flown as always. My goodness, that one hour just goes like that. Um, I noticed that we have 39 likes. So if you can give me a thumbs up, that would be very exciting. If you know anyone that would appreciate learning this technique, another love it, chop it idea, particularly doing the one side and one side, using both sides of the paper, please share, please share this video with them. That would make me really happy. It would be, give me the warm and fuzzies, as I think Ginny said. <laughs> I get very excited when I see someone shared my video. So thank you very much for that. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, oh, we've jumped up to 42 likes. Thanks, everyone. 
Uh, if you're going to subscribe to our channel, you can do that too because we're always putting new things up on the on um, YouTube. And of course, having your subscriptions keep us going. Um, it keeps us wanting to create more and show you more ideas on how you can use your Stampin' Up! products in a cost-effective, fast, easy, simple, and yeah, not Stre like stress free we want our crafting to be fun and easy and breezy we want to enjoy our time when we craft so if I can give you tips and ideas uh, on how to create in a quick way and just remember that any of my cards that I make you could replicate this with any of our paper and all you would have to do is just change the color of the ribbon change the color of the the base and you have hundreds of cards that you can make with this one amazing idea this card template um, why reinvent the wheel if you know you've got a card that you need to make for someone special then please feel free to case this card sketch and use any paper you like you don't have to use the best dressed paper just swap it out for some, something else if you don't have this sentiment you can swap it out um, if you don't have those rhinestones use some pearls it's it's amazing what you can do with what you have in the room already so yeah it's very good oh i'm so glad you're all here live yes oh thank you honeybee yes and this is the first time you're watching live welcome there's a few of you that are here live dora as well for the first time thank you i hope to see you again next week i'm here at the same time every week so feel free to come along <laughs> And if anyone has any questions about the training, don't hesitate to ask. You can message us, email, whatever works for you. And um, we shall see you next week. There'll be lots and lots of things over at KylieBatucci.com. In fact, we're just finalizing our brand new tutorial for January. So that's going to be exciting. And we'll have a blog hop with the tutorial team. So yeah. Lots of exciting things over at our blog and lots of inspiration for you as well. Thank you all very much for being here. And remember, you can get your Everything is Rosie tutorial bundle half price at the moment. So the link is within, but I'll also put it below as well so it's easy to find. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> See you.